on the 12th of November 2015, I was mustering cattle at Kleiner Station. I don't remember what happened. I remember leaving home that morning and I don't remember anything for the next five weeks, but I was in a helicopter accident approximately two o'clock that afternoon. It's a hell of a success story. So it was you know, one of the biggest, the biggest jobs of my life. Um, I thought, there's no way this guy's gonna make it. And that was the beginning of four hours of an unconscious person. Australians expect uh, the best as far as health care. There are so many things that can go wrong. So we're trying to improve patient care, but we're also trying to make things safer. And we're also trying to look for cost efficiencies. It's really interesting technology and, and how it could really be applied to save lives. CareFlight is an experienced aeromedical provider in remote Australia. They are the experts to inform effective implementation of Tilrider Aeromedicine. I'm very proud of the work that we do and particularly of the people that we work with. The distances that we travel for the patients that we want to pick up, that's what makes a difference. It's like everything in the Territory, it's a long way. We're nine hours drive to a hospital. It's a long way from anywhere. Our King Airs, as you know, couldn't land at this airstrip, so I dispatched the helicopter. The only information that we got was that there was a single person in the crash, that they were outside the helicopter and on their side. Thus ensured an endless flurry of phone calls locating and getting approval to hijack the paramedic from nearby MacArthur River Mine. Just stabilise your C-spine, put some high vs in him. All up it took 240 phone calls to sort the logistics of this retrieval. We flew to Catherine, which is an hour and, um, an hour and ten minutes away, and then re refuelled and dropped some drugs and then flew an extra two hours and twenty minutes to Kiana Station. We chopped a few trees down because there's a bit of a clearing over there. We load Matt onto the helicopter and fly him to nearby MacArthur River Mine where he was stabilised on the tarmac, put in an induced coma and loaded onto the Care Flight King Air, the third aircraft, to subsequently take him back to Darwin. What happened here is that they launched a fixed wing uh, out to the uh, runway at MacArthur River Mines and they launched a helicopter to go and do the rescue from Kiana. We would probably have had to use our auxiliary tanks to get three hours in order to maintain the fuel reserves. So there are the timings. Darwin to Kiana and then on the ground for the actual rescue. Uh, and then Kiana to the, to the mines. We would have had to take fuel, but we wouldn't have to change aircraft. The casualty is already in the aircraft, so none of that moving the casualty out of the aircraft into another aircraft to go, um, and then back to Darwin. He is lucky to be alive, thanks to the amazing efforts of those on the ground at Kiana, MacArthur River Mine, and CareFlight. So it's an interesting model how different it is in Australia. You know? Aeromedicine in Australia is currently built around a population-based approach. What equity requires is that we do more for those who are vulnerable and isolated so that they might experience a similar level of service. I had a look at the Tilt Rider in Philadelphia and I think they're an ideal unit for Australia. Get to the spot you want to go, yep. pick up and be gone. Yeah. And you know, half an hour could make the difference even. Well, particularly anything unconscious or head injuries, I mean, time is of the essence, you know. So for somebody with a head injury, from a medical perspective, having a, a pressurised cabin will add value to An aeromedical base at WellCamp, uh, we think is ideally suited. Because Toowoomba is so closely located to the coast, uh, we could easily do uh, not only just the aeromedical, but also the um, search and rescue. It's making this future available for our children when they're older and for their children in years to come.